Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rachel here from Makers Gonna Learn and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you all a very highly requested video and that is how to apply vinyl to mugs. Now it might seem easy to apply vinyl to mugs but they can actually be pretty tricky if you don't know exactly how to do it. So in today's video I'm gonna be showing you a few tips and tricks that will help you put vinyl on your mugs like a pro. Let's jump into it. Here we are in design space and we have chosen our cut file we're gonna to use today. This is the Rise and Shine file from one of the new sign collections from makersgonnalearn.com. If you do not know what Makers Gonna Learn is or you are not a member, click the first link below after watching this video. You will love it over there. We have over 700 cut files and 80 fonts to date and we are constantly adding more. If you have a die cutting machine, you will adore this membership. So the first thing we're gonna do before we hit continue is we're actually gonna measure our mug. We need to measure this to make sure that we have sized it correctly in design space. So I'm gonna move the iPad over and bring in our little mug. Now, it's kind of awkward because the mug wants to, you know, it wants to slide around and it's gonna be super hard later on to apply vinyl to a mug with one person if it's not standing up for us, you know, and we need these two hands to get crafty. So a little hack that I have is to take any kind of little ball of paint you have and slide it right under the handle and it stays perfectly upright for all of our crafting. So we're gonna grab a tape measure and we're just gonna measure our mug and we don't want it to overlap too much so it looks like it can be, you know, right at three inches by four inches, you know, no longer than four inches. So once you've sized your mug, we're gonna go over here and make sure our sizing is correct. We have a width of 2.7 inches and a height of 3.5 inches. This looks great, so we're gonna click Make It. And we're just gonna select Vinyl. And now we're gonna head over to our machine and load in our mat. And now all you're gonna do is take your mat, and we have already applied some vinyl onto it. We're using our trusty bulk uh, gold vinyl, but you can also use any of your scraps. This is a wonderful project to use the scraps that you've been collecting over your crafting journey. Now all we're gonna do is load the mat, and press that flashing cricket button. And once the action is complete, we're just gonna unload our mat and get to weeding. And before we go in with our cricket tool, I have an awesome little hack for you all that you might not know, and that is to get your little scraper tool here and burnish on top of the vinyl before you even weed it. Once you've burnished your vinyl, just get your little Cricut weeding tool and get to weeding. You'll see how easy this weeding process is, and I do uh, blame most of that on burnishing before you weed. It really does a good job at keeping all the letters down. Once we're done weeding, we're just gonna remove the backing off of a piece of transfer paper, and we like to taco it, so we like to bend it up in a little taco and lay it across our design. And now go back in with your Cricut Scraper tool and burnish some more. Another great tip is when you take your vinyl off the mat, flip the mat over so that your vinyl will not curl or anything like that. And once we've peeled our vinyl off of our mat, we're just going to set that aside and grab our mug and our little paint bottle. Just going to do our little hack here with the paint bottle to keep the mug straight. And a tip, a great tip before you apply your vinyl to your mug is to use some rubbing alcohol. Now this is just one of those cute little pump bottles that we found at the dollar store. But we're gonna take a paper towel and give it a couple of pumps and clean off our mug where we're going to apply our vinyl to. This works wonders for uh, taking off any dirt or dust or any fingerprints, you know, the grease of your fingers or anything. It really helps the vinyl adhere beautifully. Now all you're gonna do is peel the backing off of your vinyl, and if any of the letters wanna stick, like that right there, place it down and just kinda give it a little nudge. And if you have to, you can place this paper back down, lay the whole thing back on your table, and burnish again. Now, all we're gonna do is flip it over and we're gonna taco it again. It helps us um, see where the middle is and then we're just gonna carefully apply our vinyl onto our mug. And 
And now all you want to do when you have it in the place that you like it is just take your fingers and rub all over the mug. This works a lot better than that little scraper tool because this is a rounded surface so your finger really does the trick to get into those little, little crevices. And another hack when you're using rounded surfaces like this or Christmas ornaments or anything like that is to get a pair of scissors and slice the edges of your transfer tape right where the letters are. Not hitting the letters, but just right around the letters on the transfer tape, just making little slits all the way around. And that really helps the transfer paper to go on those rounded surfaces more easily. Now once you feel your vinyl is well adhered to your mug, just pick a corner and we're going to tightly pull the transfer paper straight down. We don't want to pull it up. We could risk pulling our uh, vinyl up, but it seems to be doing really well on this mug, especially because we used our alcohol. What did you think? I told you it was so easy to apply vinyl to mugs when you know what you're doing. I hope that now you have the confidence to apply vinyl to your mugs like a pro. If you all want to check out where we got this cut file and over 700 more plus fonts, then please check out the first link below and become a member of Makers Gonna Learn. You will love it if you love your die cutting machine. Please give us a like and leave us a comment down below and let us know what video you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!